And Ryan, last one, did you have a lot of exposure to Canalis at all? Yeah, I did. So uh, throughout the throughout the year, um, you know, I was helping coach. I, I, I use coach as a loose term because that, that life's not for me. Uh, <laughs> but, you know, no, I love Dave. Dave is a, is a great man. Um, it's, it's funny that you mentioned that because uh, he's actually renting out Garrett's house here in Tampa. So Garrett's going to have to figure out... Uh, a new uh, a new tenant here before too long, but I was going to say like I know it's just a report, but what like characteristics does he possess that would make him a good head coach? I mean his leadership. Um, you know the first time I met Dave, I was a little unsure of him. You know he's first time being an offensive coordinator, uh, was just so such a like happy go lucky guy, and I'm like mm -hmm. okay, let's see how this is going to work out. But when it comes down to like the root thing, like he's such a a, a man of relation, like he wants to have relationships with all of his players and, and lead them through, uh, you know, the tough times. I mean, you just, you look at us, um, you know, like week 11, we're four and seven, and that could have been a, a very big transition. And, you know, the whole thing could have just imploded, but throughout the entire, the, that entire struggle where we lost five of six, you know, Dave was the same, same person every day, wow. you know, came to work, you know, got us, got the guys ready to play you know, stayed the course. And I think that's something that you look for in a, in a, in a head coach. And I think he's going to be very successful at it. And Garrett, does he pay rent on time? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's uh they're phenomenal. They've turned out to become very, very close friends of mine. Good. Yeah, so him and his wife and their kids are um, really, really special people. Um, you know, we have a weird, thing here at Guilf where we just kind of are a gravitational force for pretty awesome folks, you know, and they, they walked in uh, my office here last May, you know, and we immediately had this extremely deep connection. I mean, I personally believe that he's going to be a wave of radical change in the NFL, you know, wow. and so his, the whole, you know, him, him and his wife, Lizzie are amazing people. Their whole posture towards community and relationships and vocation is something that we haven't seen since like Tony Dungy, wow. um, you know, and so I'm really, really, really excited to see the way in which his leadership not only proves to continue to be successful in the different teams that he's with, um, but how it's a, honestly, how it's a catalyst of change in our, in our industry that needs it, you know, so I am like fully supportive and encouraging and like just ecstatic. I'm sad that like they're leaving Tampa because, right. you know, you know, I'm sad that my friends are going to be gone, but, um, you know, it's the, it's what is the calling and it's where they're going to be heading next. And like, we're just super supportive of them and everything that they're going to be doing.